All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the shrimp, use my scissors. I'm gonna cut the, cut the pointy part, cut the eyes, and cut the tentacles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel the shrimp. Keep the shell on the head. The next step, you can do this if you want to. You can devein the shrimp. And if you don't want to, no big deal. So go ahead and do that all to your shrimp. Over here, I have some green onions already chopped up and now I'm doing the garlic. You wanna make sure your garlic, it's like really smashed. You don't want, yes, you're gonna chop the garlic up, but you don't want like cubes when you start dicing it, okay? It'll be kind of clunky when you bite it. Okay, so I warmed up my wok. And the next thing you want to do is put a good amount of butter. And this, um, with this wok, we're going to do just medium heat. And then you're going to toss in the garlic. You're going to get that medium, remember medium heat, you don't want anything burning. Go ahead and throw in your shrimp. You already see the garlic, it's already browning, but you don't want it to... Cook that for a little bit. You can throw in some some garlic powder if you want to. You always gotta put a little bit of salt in everything. Pepper. Sugar is everything. Okay, now it's about medium done. We're gonna put some oyster sauce. I don't know, that's about maybe two tablespoons, two and a half. You can turn up the heat now. Always do a splash, splash of soy sauce. A little bit of fish sauce, like a little bit, or a few drops. You want like a gravy flavor, or like you want more water in this, so I'm gonna add some water. Just a little bit. It'll thicken up. And then go ahead and throw in some of the green onions and white onions if you want to. You can even add more butter if you wanted to add. If you really like butter. Don't forget to taste this. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to go ahead and add some more butter. Back to medium or low heat. Now, if you haven't heard of this, this type of shrimp paste in a jar, it is basically the shrimp roe. The red stuff in the shrimp head. Look at that. It is just divine. We're going to just put a little bit in there. I would say a teaspoon. Now this really enhances the flavor. The most important thing is fried garlic. If you can, Bo, you know. Okay? Okay. And then if, if you don't got fried garlic, fried onions, fried shallots will also work. Look how delicious this is. 
You know what you can also do? You can take the shrimp out, leave all the gravy in here, and mix the, this little gravy thing with white rice and toss it to kind of make it like dirty rice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Bon appetit!